What's good people, Guna Motley here and in today's video I'll be doing the England vs Wales post-match review. So England winning 3-0 in a great game and that's exactly the performance most England fans wanted to see. Come on, get, get me right guys, am I not? The 0-0 against USA was, wasn't was one of our greatest performances. Um, yeah, the first first win you can't really take because of the, the opponents, no disrespect to them but there's a big gap between England and Iran. Yeah, and um, great win, like I said. Now, this is exactly the sort of performance we wanted to see, like I just said. Like, come on, man. Absolutely smashing Wales. And if I'm honest, I thought Wales would put up a bit more of a fight. No disrespect to them, but they were crap, man. They were literally crap, and that was because of how we played. We dominated them, all aspects of the game. And we should have been maybe more than three, if I'm honest. Yeah. So now we know we face Senegal in the round of 16, which is bit tomorrow. So I'll have an, uh, the preview out coming out there tomorrow for the for the Senegal game. And I've got another one coming out for some of the results and stuff for the little breakdown since my last breakdown. Because I, I didn't sort of... It's an Arsenal channel. I didn't want to be making content every day and trying to force it. So... I thought I'd cover some of the World Cup, which I have done. And I covered the England game because it's England, obviously. And um, yeah, now it's hitting, heating up into the last round of the 16. Most of these games after this one are going to be big games. So I'll cover all the games from that one now. Well, yeah, so like what I've done is like a breakdown with two separate videos of all the results from one stage. So the last results one I did was up to Uruguay, the 2-0 win. So from then I've done all the results after that. So now it gets up to the round of 16. But yeah, like absolute, England absolutely smashing Wales. And um, yeah, let's have a look at some of the stats because I've wrote some of the stuff down. So England having 18 shots, seven on target, 65% of possession. And um, we had 594 passes. Wells having seven shots, one on target, 35% possession and 329 passes. So like I've already said it, like we, we absolutely played Wells off the park, not trying to be disrespectful to them. And normally for the Arsenal games, I do like a little player rating. So I'm not going to individually do it for these. I'm just going to give all England players 8.5. And I'd say Rash was my man of the match. I'd give him a nine. He was a little bit better than the rest. His free kick was fantastic. Could have got a hat-trick early on. Yeah, and I'd say he probably should have really, but the goalkeeper come out well and it was sort of mid-air when he tried to hit it, so he couldn't right get the connection. But yeah, no no one's going to gripe. 3-0 win. That's all we wanted into the round of the 16. And it was a convincing win. And um, yeah, there's not really much more I can say on the game. So I'm just going to say thanks again, guys, for the love and support. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Let everybody know about me. And um, yeah, till the next time, this is Guna Motley, the Arsenal YouTube correspondent, signing off.